There's now optimism on Capitol Hill that more COVID relief money could be coming soon. Our Aaron Parsegian is live in Grand Rapids with more on those talks. And Aaron, people want to see that money. Yeah, definitely, Doug. And a deal is imminent right now. Leaders on both sides still in the negotiation process, but it's very likely we could see a vote tomorrow on a $900 billion COVID relief bill that would include stimulus checks once again. It's been 265 days since the CARES Act was signed into law. After months of stalemates and a second wave of the pandemic, congressional leaders are confident more COVID relief is finally on the way. It's not a done deal yet, but we are very close. We all said that we weren't going to go home till this thing got done. And thank goodness, I, I think it is going to get done. Now, we may vote on it as early as Friday. The $900 billion package would include extended unemployment benefits with an extra $300 per week. And the Paycheck Protection Program would likely get a $300 billion boost. And we've got a lot of small businesses that are really hurting. And we've got to come back uh, with yet another relief package that's going to help carry them into when we get out of this tunnel uh, and the, the light is finally beginning to shine. The package would also include direct payments to most Americans, though as it stands right now, they would be around $600, half the amount that came from the CARES Act. The one-time payment is something progressive lawmakers say won't cut it. Massachusetts Congresswoman Ayanna Pressley tweeting, Rent is due, food bank lines are around the block, temperatures are dropping, and COVID cases are spiking. Our families are hurting, and they need substantial recurring survival checks now. Details are still being worked out, but there's confidence and urgency to get this emergency relief package passed by the end of the week. You're still going to have the hard right and hard left opposed to this for sure. Uh, but, but hopefully we can get this thing done and then we can all come home for, for Christmas and uh, start the next Congress uh, on January 3rd. And there's even more pressure on lawmakers to get something done. They're going up against a government shutdown deadline that strikes tomorrow at midnight for them to pass a spending bill as well. We'll keep.